A convicted Capitol rioter from York County is running to unseat an incumbent in the South Carolina House. 22-year-old Elias Irizarry has filed to run for a representative of District 43, which covers parts of York and Chester counties. Queen City News reporter Casey Jones explains why some Republican representatives say he deserves a second chance. 22 year old Elias Irizarry admitted to spending 27 minutes in the Capitol on January 6, 2021. Now he wants to spend at least two years as a South Carolina House representative, and some representatives say he should be given a chance. A convicted Capitol rioter wants to represent York and Chester counties in the South Carolina House. Elias Irizarry was caught on camera in the crowd inside and outside the Capitol on January 6, 2021. Two years later, Irizarry convinced Representative David O'Neill to hire him as a legislative intern. He didn't go up there to protest. He was just kind of up there wondering what everything was going on. And he kind of got there late and the stuff was already happening. And he just kind of fell in with the crowd. The now 22 year old pled guilty to a misdemeanor charge. A judge sentenced him to 14 days in jail and a $500 fine. Representative Annie McDaniel believes Irizarry running is an ethical concern. I think when you decide you want to run for public office, you need to have some atonement from anything that you've done that have hurt taxpayers in particular. Because when you do something to, hit, to hurt taxpayers, you are hurting all Americans. Irizarry is running to unseat Republican incumbent Randy Ligon, who's been in office since 2018. I think that says a lot for his character and just the fact that he would run against a colleague of mine that is doing a good job is it's even more alarming. Representative O'Neill says Irizarry is an honor student who messed up and deserves a second chance to prove himself. I think it straightened him out. Working up there as an intern, I think it made him a better kid. And um, I support whatever he wants to do. If he wants to, you know, if he wants to run for a house seat and the constituents of that district want him, I don't see a problem with it. Irizarry did not return calls for comment on his filing, but we do know at this time no Democratic candidates have filed for House District 43. That means come the summertime, it could shape up to be a winner takes all situation between the three Republican candidates. Reporting in York, Casey Jones, Queen City News.